all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as to the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop it will be the first we will collect them all right, let's go down to the news proper. I see the hot. Um, you don't shell it for the Obodo. Uh, right now, um, the country called NIG, uh, with the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, and mass, now they can they call Obodo Ndi Omano Mano. Protest is currently ongoing. Uh, before the protest updates, you know, where on Monday, sit at home about five policemen and one pos operator uh point of cell uh, was shot dead in the city of Owere, irritated to be precise and um on tuesday there was also a shootout in Owere too a place called rg where one man was shot dead and yesterday in Owere, there was katakata running everywhere uh we also had the same information in onicha uh, where a city was turned upside down and this morning in aba abia state aba abia state um the members of the ugm stormed army checking point and sent a lot of uh army people to to judgment as it be uh, so the city they hold so wherever you are, uh, just know, make sure that you are safe and make sure that you call your loved ones uh, to know how they are, to know what is happening to them, to know how they are fearing and how they are doing. Ekene munu iya, ekene munu iya, ekene munu iya. As it be, uh, you remember one boy, I be one girl like that, where they call Bobby Risky, na man where they dress like woman. As the be, they said the man, the man with the dress like woman, don't come out of, uh, don't come out of uh, the, the uh, police detention where we say they detain them for six months for abusing the naira. We say which way the country, because of the protests uh, where we say it they happen for the Obodo, um, the the government of um, Delta State have promised to be paying their youth ten thousand and some of them. 50,000. Oh, say Taylor. Um, remember that the government we have in Nigeria, or the government that is in Nigeria, is just some um, what is called promise and fail government. When the election is coming, or when they feel that the citizens are opening their eyes, uh, they try finding ways to make sure that the eyes of the citizens are blocked. <laughs> Nigeria bene 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 Nigeria bene MS got the mao eh but the time eh, when Nigeria got the diamond by that time eh, the country called Biafra must have matured um let Ndibo go there's a video I'll drop for you uh, you go see how Ndibo they do their own protest uh, they do for Biapalo where did they sell chicken and they are there eating chicken and saying um Tinubu, uh, one thing that other tribes does not know is that no matter how bad you treat Onyibo, Onyibo must survive. Onyibo must survive. No matter how bad uh, you try to be against an Igbo man, an Igbo man must survive. No matter how bad you treat an Igbo man, that Igbo man must, must survive. After the 1960, uh, 1967 to 1970 civil war, Biafra civil war, um, what was given back to each and every world businessman, whether government worker, be it Dick, Tom, and Harry, was 20 pounds. And between that 1970 till now, Ndibo has been able to make millionaires, academic gurus, academic genius. Business genius, uh, 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 import, importation. Uh, there has been a lot of genius that have been provided uh, uh, that Igbos have provided since the 1970s till now. You can check it, it has not been so much a long time. 
and in Debo we are able to come up with whatever they have now. These are the people who everything they own we are taking away from them. Their properties in Patakot, especially Pat Patakot, Patakot own was the worst of it. Because no property of Ndibo was returned to them in Patakot. The Patakot people claimed every single property that was owned by Ndibo then. But these people somehow, somehow bounced back, got into the government, got into the business. Because uh, after the Biafra and Nigeria civil war, uh, the then head of state go on said, no victor, no vanquish. And that was when the three. 3DR was introduced, they say restructuring, rehabilitation, and um, I have forgotten the other one. I will still find it and tell you. On another information, some people don't they protest or so say, make Senate president whether they call Goswell at Babi or say, make him come out for state to. <laughs> they say, um, FG to pay 10,000 Niger Delta youth 50,000 50, Naira monthly. Say to you, like, let's go down to the full detail of the information. Senate President Goswe Ababio, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives Benjamin Kahlo, and the Managing Director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Dr. Samuel Obuku, have called on youth and people of the region to shun the plan August first protest against economic hardship. This follows Ababio's launch of a youth internship scheme initiated by the NDDC for 10,000 youths from the Niger Delta region. Speaking during the NDDC executive management engagement with Niger Delta ethnic nationalities and selected stakeholders in Port Harcourt on Thursday, Ababio declared that the proposed nationwide protest by some youth would not take place in the nine states of the Niger Delta, describing the region as a protest-free zone. Detailing the youth internship scheme, the Senate President said 10,000 youth will be engaging in the program designed to improve their skills, noting that the beneficiaries in the first phase would be paid 50,000 monthly. <laughs> uh, my people said that when you have a Wayo government, 419 government, um government of obt uh, that knows what they're supposed to do what they really need to do now because of the protests uh, the senate president goswell Ababio have initiated a an internship scheme that will enable about ten thousand uh, delta uh, uh, regions uh, uh, youth to be earning fifty thousand monthly why did they not come up with this particular scheme before why was it not there? And now, when the youth felt that they are tired, and now you are bringing it up in order to be able to dis uh, distract them. Ababio has declared that the South South uh, is no prote uh, protest free zone because uh, he felt that he has the power. And um, are, are his people doing better? That is another question you should ask. If the, if the Niger Deltans are doing better than other states, Niger Deltans. Um, remember that you don't have uh, you have oil and a very bad environment cultivation is is a hard thing for you uh, making food is a hard thing for you and um you see decide that uh, you are you are not going to you are not going to protest <laughs> uh, you will see decide that you are not going to protest because uh, your man said that he's going to give you uh, this thing. But meanwhile, uh, now, today, is August 1st. And let's see uh, what is going to happen. What is going to what is going to transpire uh, on this particular protest day. But meanwhile, wherever you are, make sure you are staying safe with your family and every other person. Yeah. Of course, remember that Ndibo... Uh, we are doing Ndibo are doing their own protests in Ebenere Azondo. Ebenere Azondo. Uh, if you want to protest today in Alibo, uh, Biko, if you are coming out, buy three crates of beer and one uh, chicken so that any American or any American, any American, any American, any American, any American, any American, any Eh mana, on your libre quoi, n'a chatan one near, makana one neg my guinea.
ngane ngopu edi 